Okay, Dom. Day one camp in the books for you guys here. Competitor's Edge. Kellen Russell. He knows a little bit on the mat. What, what did you think of Kellen? Uh, I thought he was phenomenal. His uh, work on top was uh, amazing. And I uh, learned a lot. Learned a lot myself. Um, so I took notes, hoping to, to go back over the stuff. I know the, the wrestlers took a lot from it. And um, I was really impressed, too, with his uh, practice plan. So he had something laid out and um, followed it well. And good day, good first day of the camp. You, know, you look at this, and uh, this is this is the gray area of Ohio. This is the the, the war, the war over recruiting grounds. Is is it going to be Ohio State? Is it going to be Michigan? This is the gray area, right? Yeah. Because the fans are split 50-50. Yeah. You realize crazy. that? Yeah, I know it's crazy. I know you I guys know. are Buckeyes. Yeah. Okay. The choice ended up being Buckeyes. And you yeah. know, your kid told me he took all that out of the equation when he was looking at schools. I really liked that. You know, he couldn't try and follow his heart so much, but yeah. he felt like in the end, Ohio State was the, be the best place for him. But when you look at that, man, what's that like? You know, you, you benefit from both of them, right? Yeah, so we're between both schools. So we went to both RTCs, so it worked out great. Um, we're within 250 miles, whatever that restriction is. So we hit as many practices as we could. I mean, a great um, benefit that I don't think that some of these high school wrestlers take advantage of. As Ann much. Arbor, about an hour and 10, hour and 15, yep. maybe, and yep. then two hours for Ohio State. 215, yep. That's pretty, pretty. you know, that you're, you're in fertile ground, though, when you look at uh, all the choices you had. Ohio State just made the most sense for you guys. Why? Um, when it came down to it, um, I think uh, just Dylan felt comfortable with the team, um, and then it's close, um, and then they have a phenomenal program, um, and just he just felt like he felt like he was already on the team and felt really comfortable. So all the travel, was it worth it? All the travel and all the homework, you do your real meticulous, squared away guy. Yeah. Did you feel like after you did all the research, it's what made sense to you too? Yeah, yeah. I, I tried to stay out of the equation. I just tried to expose Dylan to as many opportunities as I could. Um, you know, we went out and visited a bunch of schools, and it was, really, it was a really hard decision. I, it, uh, it came down to the end, really. I mean, we could have easily been at another school in a heartbeat. How do we bottle and sell Mike Matt and, and Dom D'Amelio to parents? <laughs> How do we do that, man? You guys are yeah. you really get it, you know. Like yeah. I don't ever see you guys get nuts at workouts. Yeah. Um, you know, and I'm guessing there's rides home where there's been talks, but yeah. How do you do this, and why? Why do you have such an even keel? You and that guy, the Matt and guy, just like get it. Yeah. Why do you guys get it so much? Yeah. You know, I don't. I don't know. I think that um, when I'm in the middle of it, I'm calm. You know, there's times where I've been a fan up in the stands, and I want to go crazy. So I think. Um, when I'm in the middle of the chaos, I am try to be the calming voice and, and try to still be analytical and still think through things, you know, in between periods, you know, let's make an adjustment, trying to get kids to make a mental adjustment in the middle of a match. And I have to be level-headed uh, if they're going to be level-headed. If I'm screaming my head off, um, it's not effective for anybody. So you're just, you just you figure stuff out? Try to, you know, on the fly. That's not easy to do, no, man. No. Your emotions are in there. You're a no. dad. Yeah, and I, and I can't say I always do it either. I mean, I've, I've certainly lost my cool many times, so, yep. Knowing that this has been built around the D'Amelios, I didn't say that people came and have catered to you and built it around you. It's like your kid is the driving force to this team state title. He's the guy that sharpens everybody else, okay? I could tell when, he was, when I was doing his elementary matches, he's the guy. He's going to make it, and then all these pieces started to fall in for you. Sanchez's, Lamangi. Okay, I mean, you got a heavyweight who started wrestling as a freshman. That, yeah. that was just a pleasant surprise, right? Yeah. Rogelio, I mean, you, you guys have just, you've really had some pleasant surprises. Knowing your kid, it's been built around your boys. Yeah. I What's that like? Yeah, I think they all make each other better. You know, they all work hard. Um, I think when one guy has a bad practice, he gets picked up. Um, nobody wants to be left behind. Um, so it's a good team atmosphere. We really have no egos on the team. Um, and so that's kind of refreshing not to have no, you know, when we won a, our state dual championship, nobody had a number one finger up. No one was going crazy. I mean, everybody was happy. We're jumping up and down, but it was good, clean celebrating. I mean, it was, they're good kids. They're all good kids. Repeating. Obviously you're bringing back six placers, a champ, two finalists, three thirds. Yep. How do you repeat? I think we just keep... Grinding out. I think uh, there's some things that we need to work on. I want to see these guys work in the off season, um, plug away. Um, when I'm seeing them hit the weight room, and and I think we got to round out round out our lineup. You know, we're gonna we have some holster graduation, and we got to see who steps up, and and then a bunch of guys are gaining weight, so we want to know who who's gonna shuffle in at what weight. So, glasses half full. We're excited. 
Um, I love it. Yeah. You're so analytical. It's yeah, crazy. But, uh, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Looking forward to it. All right, man. I'm excited to see what the comments are going to do. You guys, it's, it's been awesome. What's the community support been like for... Oh, it's been phenomenal. I mean, we were just had a Genoa Homecoming Festival, and we're in the parade for the first time. And uh, we're on a big flatbed semi, and we stopped in front of City Hall, and our, our local councilman um, did a big speech and thanked us. And every, everywhere we went down to pray, people were clapping. They got road signs coming out. So it's it's been cool. It's been a good ride. It has been, yeah. Now, now, now it's time to do it over again. That's right. All right, hey, we got to talk a little bit of National Middle School Duels here. Been a great camp, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for coming.